Uh, one of the least exciting learning environments for most people is sitting in a pastel coloured room at one of 30 desks and facing the front uh, day after day, year in, year out. Um, and uh, that one of the reasons, I, I don't think there's a single great learning environment, but the sort of features they should have. I mean, most school buildings, I can't say most, many school buildings are inherently rather dull. I mean, they, they are built along factory lines and they, they're uninspiring places. They don't have to be, but they, they can be. I went into school in LA a while ago, one, one down by the airport, and it was, from the outside, it looked like a concrete bunker. It looked like something the you know, Department of Defense had erected for an emergency of some sort. Uh, but when you went inside, it was like an absolute Aladdin's cave. It was a fantastic school. There were works of art all around the place. There were displays. There were um, works that not only the kids had made, but the teachers had made too. There were studios, laboratories. It was really wonderful. And you just got excited the minute you walked into the place. Uh, so among the things that make learning environments exciting are, are variety. The, 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 um, the variety related to function. You, know, you get a certain vibe if you go into a science lab, you get a certain vibe if you walk into an art room or a drama studio. Uh, and a great school environment is an embodiment of the variety of learning that we can do, that we, uh, you know, we need different sorts of environments to stretch our bodies, to extend our minds and stimulate them, and also that allow us to interact with other people. Uh, and the thing is, a lot of the principles are well known. I'm always like, very keen to say this, that trying to improve education, trying to transform it, trying to get good work in great schools, isn't some unfathomable mystery like uh, curing certain diseases seems to be. We kind of know what works. I mean, there are great places all around the world already doing it. Uh, the problem lies in the insistence of some policymakers, I think, uh, that everything has to be done in the same way. That they, they are promoting a kind of homogeneity and really interesting learning environments are not homogeneous, they're diverse and they, they adapt and they change and they are suited to different sorts of purposes. There's freedom to move, there's freedom to use different sorts of materials, freedom to collaborate and to interact with other people um, and to work on projects as well as to work quietly on, on theoretical tasks. So uh, the best learning environments are the ones that do that, they embody the variety of learning.